What's up, y'all? Ray at Magic Clicks Tabletop Games for an edition of something other than Amon Ket. <laughs> Our Devastation's out. Pretty cool. Oh, I just got my Command Zone Limited Edition uh, playmat signed. Pretty awesome. Nice art. I dig it. So, first, we're going to open a fat pack. Yes, I called it a fat pack. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. It's a fat pack. I'm not fat shaming. Stop trying to feel special and be part of a special group. It's 2000 and freaking 17. Let's get over the childish bullshit, okay? I'm opening and calling it a fat pack because that's what I grew up with and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a pack that is fatter, has a larger width, has nothing to do with people at all. <laughs> it's an inanimate object. Anyway, so yeah, look at that, look at that sexy bastard. I'd like to open one of them, that'd be great. So we'll put that back there instead to get rid of that almond kitty crap. All right, uh, let's rock it. So pretty cool spin down, I dig it, but the black isn't, I'm not digging the black. So what I did is I took a permanent Sharpie gold and silver and colored mine in and they look phenomenal just gonna say got some tokens and stuff double-sided this is cool i get double-sided tokens like this all right if you want to get wi wizards if you want to give us double-sided tokens foil ones give them to us in fat packs don't replace our f and m promos are you trying to kill the scene are you trying to kill magic are you trying to go out of business it's just ridiculous. Such BS. Sometimes FNM Promer is the only way that some of us can get some of the old school awesome art and foil, you know? So don't take FNMs away. Change your mind, please. Anyway, let's crack some packs. Oh, Hour of Devastation. Love it. The value of this set is pretty low. Not too impressive. Sifter Worm, Ominous Sphinx. Ordered that in foil for my Sphinx EDH deck. Nimble Obstructionist. That's a good that's a good rare. That is a good rare. I pulled that in foil at the pre-release. Which was, I guess it was like an $18, $19 foil, but now it's down to like $12.13. You know, this set's just gonna keep going down. I shouldn't be surprised, should I? Alright. Sine Sinuous Striker. Vizier of the Anointed, Unraveling Mummy, awesome and limited, and Hollow One. Hollow One's also a good rare. I guess we're we're in the good rare sections. And a swamp. <laughs> I thought there was gonna be a foil in that one. Ugh. I need more foil full arts. I wouldn't care if they're not full arts or not. I just like foil lands. I need more foil lands for my EDH decks. Alright, Gideon's Defeat. Jace's Defeat, Riddle Form, awesome. Just ordered that in foil as well. And Adorned Pouncer. Actually, I've never seen this. It's a 1 1 double strike kitty with Eternal Eyes. It be a 4 4 double strike kitty. Oh, isn't there a promo for that? And a foil Spellweaver Eternal. Another Zombie Naga Wizard. Another Wizard. Nice. I like foil wizards. Alright, let's keep it going. We don't want this video to be too long. I'm making a nice mess on the floor, and that's always fun when you're cracking packs. Uh, I can't wait to move away from here to a country that actually has a freaking magic community and a shop. It's been kind of boring. This is unstoppable, unlimited ridiculousness. I love it. And we got uh, Emmett Eternal. Sweet. I got that one of my uh, sealed tools as well. It's pretty awesome. All right. Sunset Pyramid. Claim to fame. Dune Diviner. In a Torment of Hailfire. I got the pre release promo of this. It's nice. And a Full Art Mountain. Woohoo! All right. Mm. 
All right. This is Defeat, Hashep Oasis, Clan to Fame, and Hour of Eternity. What does this one do? Exile X card creature cards from the graveyard for each card exiled. That way, create a token that has a copy of that card, except it's a 4 4 black zombie. Why don't you just say make a 4 4 black zombie creature? Ah, anyway. And a foil Avon Reed Stalker. Another bird with a flash. Interesting. Interesting. I always look at foil cards as potential commander cards. <laughs> like, hmm, can I put this in the deck? River Hoopo. A Black Spider, wow. In the same pack, that's nice. Devotee of Strength. And Scavenger Grounds. I'm actually happy I got that. I love I love my lands. Hey, cool. I got a horsey token. Meh. I'm gonna sleeve the land because lands are more valuable to, to me. More valuable. Alright, now we got a booster box here we're going to open as well. Probably right now, right after this fat pack, because I have an addiction. I have to crack packs, right? Or maybe I'll wait for the weekend. We'll see. Supreme Will, Appeal to Authority, a Braid, and Hour of Promise. Switch your library for up to two land cards, put them under the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library, then if you control three or more deserts, create two, two, two black zombie creature tokens. <laughs> Interesting. And a Foil Supreme Will. Choose one. Counter target spell unless it's control to play three. Or look at the top four of cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. Hmm. Hmm. Another blue foil. What do you know? Just happens to be the color I play the most. I mean, who doesn't like blue? <laughs> I was kind of pissed that everyone figured out my that the mill deck I was building, but eh, whatever. Just makes my foil startled awakes go up in price. And a hostile desert. Sweet. Another foil. And a mountain. Cool. Another rare land. That's good. And the Amaketa, I didn't get a lot of lands, a lot of rare lands, which kind of was kind of disappointing because I'd like to have at least a place out of each of them. Foil, preferably. Hope Tender. Ipnu Rivulet. Dunes of the Dread. And Wildfire Eternal. Great and limited as well. And that's what we got for our, uh, our Fat Pack opening. Not... Awesome, but not horrible. All right, y'all. That's all I got. Tell me what you think. Like and subscribe. Peace.